first they hit with phase one Air strikes all day and all night Phase two, rockets hit the Gaza Strip with phosphorus Phase three, ground attack, how we gonna counteract? Boycott, divest, and sanction In light of the murder of nearly 2,000 Palestinians in Gaza We're here at the Superfund office today Occupying, chained on, um, to oppose our tax money's investment in, in companies which profit off and sustain the brutal military occupation of Palestine. Boycott, divest, and sanction. Boycott, divest, and sanction. Israel, you should be ashamed. Kill the main thousands of civilians in our name. Our tax money. And we're here to oppose the investment of our tax money in a system of occupation, colonisation, ethnic cleansing, and genocide. Now is the time to reassess seriously divestments against Israeli companies and international companies which have a real stake in this occupation and the military regime which is killing Palestinians this very second. There will be Palestinians dying right now on a bed because of some of the companies that we've got our money in right now. Yeah. And it's not right. Um, yeah, it's, it is a really, really upsetting situation, without doubt. And, you know, my... Personal beliefs, uh, my personal beliefs, unfortunately, this isn't my personal fund. Say, okay, well, look, I, I can only act within the bounds of can, but this is possible. It is absolutely possible. To, ta to sit here and tell us it, it is not possible or it is impossible to divest from these companies is a lie. Not another nickel, not another time, no more money for Israel's crime. Israel Chemicals produces that phosphorus. And, and this is, we're talking about you this white phosphorus. Teeth? Sorry? You brush your teeth. Sorry? You brush your teeth. I mean, white phosphorus is used in many places. So. But we know how Israel kept what, what Israel Chemicals does with its white phosphorus. Sells some to the U.S. Defence Force. U.S. Defence Force then sells some to the Israeli Defence Force. One, two, three, four. Super five, no more. Five, six, seven, eight. Israel's the terrorist. Palestinians have actually identified the companies. They have. I can identify lots of companies that really annoy me in life as it's well. Not a, it, okay, them. excuse me. It's not about annoying people in their lives. We're talking about a brutal military occupation. We're talking about the denial of basic rights, which is facilitated by these companies. But it's the Israel We're talking about checkpoints that people have to is. travel through every day. We're talking about detention centres where children's children are held. It's not a minor in inconvenience or a slight dislike of a company. These are the companies that sustain Palestinian oppression. Claim you hitting terrorists, but children in your aim. Even murder relief workers, but spilling from their brain while they tried to drive the ambulance. So they couldn't stand a chance. Even bomb students, hospitals, Mas Rafa and Han Yunus. Shot them in their back like the cops to Oscar Grant. And in each case, the good old United States sponsored that. Seven million a day that we pay tax and APAX lobbyists is robbing us. Sometimes it feels like. We need to get on with business, on with business, on with business. We need to get on with business. We've heard you. I will be thinking hard about it. Um, okay, well, in the outcome is we're not going to be divesting from those companies right here, right now. This disruption is a minor disruption compared to the disruption that these companies cause Palestinian li you know, lives on, an, on a daily view. basis. That's great. It's um, the truth. My view is you're in private property, so, um, so uh, yeah, we're just going to have to move on. Make a truth exposed like the emperor's clothes. Hey, guys, you gonna leave? No. People still defending their homes. They ain't been surrendering. No. Boycott, divest, the sanction. Boycott, divest, the sanction. Boycott, divest, the sanction. Cause they even bombed the United Nations. Look, I'm Israeli, my government's so arrogant. War criminals who call Palestinians terrorists for resisting extinction and occupation, comparing this to genocide and reservations of Native Americans.